Hey folks, we know you clicked on this juicy video because of that thumbnail. You want to hear about Deadpool. You want to hear about Earth 838. Uh, but we got a lot of headlines to get through first. If you want to skip to your favorite part of the video, just check out the chapters below. Otherwise, let's jump into the break room. Welcome back to The Break Room. New York Comic Con happened this past week. Let's get into all of it today. I'm Brandon Barrick, who cares? Joining me today, we've got Tommy Bechtel. Hello everyone, so great to be here. And we're also honored to be joined by Kasim G. Hello everybody, so great to be here. Yes. Sorry, I thought Tommy had more to say. No. I, I was giving him space. I was untwitching myself. <laughs> yeah, let's go to I, I was I was putting a silencer mm. on my mouth. Mm, I love it, I love it. Well, we've got a lot of headlines and things to get into today, so let's get this show started with some trailers. Oh. Like we said earlier. <laughs> that was not planned. We both. That was beautiful. We both made the same level of excitement. We that, moaned. It was know, a, we, we, we both kind of went, oh. oh. It was a syn 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 synchronistic moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we said earlier, New York Comic Con was this weekend. And with that, a bunch of new trailers came out. Uh, I'm, I'm ashamed to say there was a Percy Jackson clip that was shown and a lot of people seem to love it. I'm not, I myself am not a big Percy Jackson head. No. Never read the books, barely saw the movie. What's yeah. the name? I can't get past Percy. You don't like Percy? He's not your hero? No, I not don't want to I don't want to be saved by a person. <laughs> Percy uh, was was the biggest rat bastard in the rail yard oh. in Thomas and the Tank Engines. If you remember, oh, yeah. Percy okay. the Train, he was a little shit. Yeah. However, Evan and I are uh, we're known jackoffs. Yeah. Which is, uh, <laughs> that's the term. That's. The I term. thought that was Hugh Jackman fans were known as jackoffs. It's, it's confusing when the okay. jackoffs uh, fight against each other. It's uh, the jacks. It's are messy. On. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a little messy. It's a jackoff off. Yeah. It's a jackoff off. Okay. It's a Jack Antonoff. Okay. Uh, listen. Yeah. Uh, Evan, we're excited, right? Yeah, oh, super excited. Um, there was a fun clip from the uh, Capture the Flag scene that was shown that was really fun, and Walker Scoble like, narrating basically the first chapter, I guess, is like kind of like the intro. Mm -hmm. And the book is all written in like first person, so it seems like it might be a pretty good time. Um, uh, I'm, more ex I'm excited about the, uh, the cast. Uh, particularly some of the, the more stunt casted roles. We have Edge, the wrestler Edge, <laughs> aka Adam Copeland, mm. is playing okay. Ares. Is he playing Ares, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Jason Matsukis, best known for bullying me outside of UCB 13 years ago. Great. Jason. Great. Uh, but a uh, very funny actor. I'm still not over Edge uh, having his wedding ruined yeah. to mm. Stephanie McMahon. That's yeah, true. Yeah. 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 Th I think that, that was, was test. test. That was that test. Was <laughs> yeah. How dare you? That was How test. dare you? Oh, uh, I was trying to hit you with a deep cut. If, but, if Edge, but I was Edge, so close. Edge is the one that uh, made love to Lita. <laughs> yeah, Edge made love to Lita. center of the ring. Live on stage. The rated R superstar. God, <laughs> Mom, I hope you're watching. Uh, this is what you allowed me to watch at I home when I was a child. I but, saw Owen Hart die. Yeah, oh my God. You were there? I was watching it on yeah. Oh, you were watching it. And the they did not there. really, I mean, they cut away from it. Was it came like, back to You it. could yeah. see something yeah. happen. But then the yeah. show went on. They were like, make them keep wrestling. It's uh, the, the show must get out first. there. Yeah, he's That was like, Vince. He's fine. They did. They Disneylanded him. Like he died there, and they were like, "Get him out of the arena. Declare him dead at the hospital." They, they did what they do to horses at Hollywood Park. <laughs> yeah. They put, put the tent up all around. They put and the tent they up. Carted him out. Oh, awful, awful, awful. Wrestling. What a sordid history. However, <laughs> Percy Jackson. What a promising tomorrow. Yeah. Evan, I know we didn't get into the nuts and bolts of this show, but you know, basically, this feels to me like the new trend. We had a few. Well, how many Percy Jackson movies ultimately came out? Just one. Movie, Just right? two. There, there, was there two were two. Based yeah. off the first. Because there was the there was the first one, the, and then there was like got something. Yeah, the, the Lightning Thief and Sea of Monsters. Sea of Monsters. I, yeah. I just called it Sea oh. Monsters, but yes, Lightning Thief. I saw Lightning Thief in theaters. Uh, I took my little brother, who was mm. a big PJ fan. I'm not going to call my little brother a jack off, although he has been having an attitude lately on the phone. So interesting. He's close, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I think you know they're trying to do that with uh, Harry Potter. Sorry for everyone who hates Harry Potter. Now I understand it's a, it's a it's a difficult IP to wrap your brain around. HBO or I'm sorry, Max currently developing uh, uh, a Harry Potter show where each season will be a book, right? Is yeah, I mean, you know, this is a thing where beloved children's book series they yeah. get turned into either shows or movies, and there's never enough time to cover everything in the book, yeah. mm -hmm. so everyone gets big mad. The, the Percy Jackson movie, the first movie is like the first book. That's yeah. how they did it. 
and the second movie is the second book. I believe so, but I think also if they I throw remember, in other things. If I remember at the time, it was the first time I because I had not read the books. Mm. It was the first time I watched someone who had read the books or had reverence for the books be pretty pissed off about sure. like, and it was in the form of like an eight year old boy. Like sure. my little brother was like, yeah. "That is not." What happened in the books? And I, uh, <laughs> I felt for him in that moment. Uh, anyway, yeah. Well, a colossal uh, box office, box office like debut for Percy Jackson, right? Isn't that kind the of the first what, one did really well? Yeah. What, what, what am I thinking of? Didn't they say that it was really bad or the movies are? Oh, bad. you're thinking of Artemis Fowl. <laughs> Right? I'm thinking of Test. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember Artemis Fowl famously did another big Disney book property. Series. Huge book series, yeah. tons of hubbub around right. it, and ultimately it ends up getting slowly just kind of farted out on oh, Disney Plus. Under I, I think I know what you think of it. That dragon book, they turned into a movie that the fans were so mad the about. The Hobbit. Not The Hobbit. It's like, uh, I can't remember the name of that. If you're in the chat, I know you know the name of this dragon book. It's is it the one like, where Avril Lavigne sung the theme song? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Dasha? Aragorn. Aragorn, Aragorn or something like that. Aragorn, yeah. yeah. That Aragorn, was like a beloved yeah. book series. They made one of the books into a movie and the fans hated it so much. Is that the one Sean Connery's in? I'll see if I go That's Dragonheart. That's 0 for 3. No, that's that Dragonheart. Aragorn. 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 you're on the lag. You're on the lag, John. Be a geek. Would you like to have a seat? For me, it's, uh, it's always Rise of the Guardians and Guardians <laughs> of the Forest, the Owls of right Ga'ul. <laughs> I remember that that one, the, Ga what, the yeah, Guardians, yeah. the Owls of Ga'ul or whatever. The, Guardians uh, of Ga'ul. <laughs> yeah. That one had the craziest um, Hollywood Boulevard set up sort of a Star Wars release. Like a Star Wars okay. release, they'll bring like, they'll land the Falcon on, yeah, like in sure. front of- Yeah, uh, shut it down, in make front it of, take like, forever to get The Joker home. will mm -hmm. be will be currently like coming on a Batman over in Madame Tussauds, and then yeah. the Falcon will land and they'll get you're them out. You're not like, speaking of the Joker movie, you're no. speaking of the, the guy- street yeah, yeah, the street, yeah, yeah. I'm speaking of the street artists. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The Owls of Ga'ul, <laughs> they turned mm -hmm. that strip of land into a forest. Yeah. Like, it was, they brought in trees. They went hard. It was crazy. Yeah. I wanted to get in that forest and see what was going on, but I'm afraid of owls. Yeah, it's true. So I just couldn't. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. Big afraid of owls. I do love Dragonheart, though. Yeah, Dragonheart. The Sean Connery. God bless him. He was is a real it, man. Is Dennis Quaid? Uh, Dennis Quaid's the, the guy, uh, and Sean Connery's like, or Dennis Quaid's like, I won't stop until every last one of you are dead. And Sean Connery says, I am the last one. Yeah. It's great. Great dragon movie. That's great, great dragon movie. It's a that great Reign of Fire, another great dragon movie. Yeah. Christian Bale, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. A tight hour and a half, I think. My, uh, my best friend, or one of my best friends, calls Matthew McConaughey, Matt Conaghy, Matthew McConaughey. Ironically. <laughs> That's a good one. We never correct him. We're yeah. like, yeah, Matthew McConaughey. What, do your best Matthew McConaughey. I got well, one. Matthew McConaughey, I can do whatever I want because he's not a real person. No, no, here's, yeah. here's a Matthew McConaughey. You ready? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's what I love about high school girls. <laughs> I get older and they stay the same age. To be fair, Sean Connery did actually say that. So. I've got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the Dallas Buyers Club. I want you to bring us more of these shit uh, martinis until one of us passes out. <laughs> Speaking, <laughs> speaking of Matthew McConaughey, uh, the beloved Clive Clusler novels, Sahara turned into a movie, big failure. Oh yeah. Clive Clusler is is in the vein of like the uh, 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 John Grisham. Uh, who's the character in Hunt for Red October? And they made the oh terrible show. Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan. Yes. Like, what? Where are we Wait, in this is show right now? in the hunt for Red October? No, no, Cl well, Clive Clive <laughs> Evan, I'm inside myself right or now. Was I mean, that it? I, I, I said before the show, I wanted to talk about Percy Jackson for two minutes. This is your fault. And now I thought the Percy Jackson stuff was going to take two minutes tops because I didn't know anything about it. We I don't know what happened. Hey, this is what happens. Clusler. This is what happens when you let a jack off go nuts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you have the space to do it. What else? I feel, thank you for creating safe space for yeah. everyone. Well, what else happened at New York Comic Con? Oh, we got new trailers for Invincible Season 2. Heard of it? Heard of it? The Apple TV Godzilla show Monarch Legacy of the Monsters. And you know what? We've got earbuds. We've got earbuds. Let's watch the Strategically these trailers. placed here. We should be able to hear How about we hit Invincible too. first? For some, the pain will never fade. I forget that character's name, but voiced by Seth Rogen. Yes. Is it Jeff? Uh, Alan. Alan the yeah. alien? Yeah. Jeff was close. Yeah, they're doing like the multiverse stuff or like dimension stuff. You know, it's a show with a lot of fun, a lot of action, but it makes you think. Is that guy with like the 
uh, the uh, what 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 am I a ball bearing for a hand? Is that the dude that the guy like the the science the college kid like cut up and put into a million pieces? Oh. Exactly. Oh, like coming dude. back? Yeah, like because he because he was still alive, right? Like, they kind of like freed right, him. Right, right, yeah. They like turned him back into his old personality, but he just looked insane. Yeah, he did look crazy. I'm unhurtable. <laughs> I Which was be. the first? <laughs> cut, cut. We gotta <laughs> take that again. <laughs> it is a weird name for a superhero, Invincible. Yeah. Kind of strange. I'm excited. I started reading the comic just so I could see what yeah. was going. Because I was so I was like, "What's gonna happen?" Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. then I and I went and I was like, "How many uh, issues of this there are? They're like this." Yeah. Man. Oh yeah. There's so many. It's there's like, a uh, lot. It's I tried to do that with the boys after season one. I was I like, hear "The boys is no good." It's, well, that's a rough comic. To that is a tough. Com and it doesn't. I mean, well, the show. The show's and, much more nuanced. Yeah. The show <laughs> and Gen V, I think, go out of their way to be like. This is how truly deplorable having the people that use these powers for this reason are, or like, this is like, they kind of make fun of people's mm, yeah. stereotypical views on things. The comics have none of that nuance. They're like, this guy's thing is that he just fucks anything that moves. Sorry, you two. We'll bleep uh, I gotta check out the yeah. comic. <laughs> Wait, what? Point yeah. is, I got, if you wanna do a swap, yeah. I got these many boys comics, yeah. and they're all the same issue. I just can't stop ruining pages. <laughs> But the stuff like Invincible and like the boys, and even the MCU to some extent, maybe less now, but like, is are are we in this weird cycle of like the superhero circle where we're doing the this too serious superhero stories now, mm -hmm. treating them like too much fun, and will we get back to like the kind of fun silliness? Like I've recently rewatched, I've I've said this before, like Batman Forever, right? Mm -hmm. A crazy weird movie that's super stylized, but like almost more fun yes because yeah. everyone that lives in that world is in a comic book and it's less serious and right. less like well what if there actually was a guy who dresses about it's just more like there's a batman and it's fun well we and, get you know, turned the villains all dress the same and it's i mean cute. you get kind of like the opposite effect happens like where you get a movie which i enjoyed like the batman yeah but you're like oh there's no they can't have anything science fictiony or not or fantasy right happen in science fiction is kind of all of it right like, like the like, martian manhunter is like a show up in the Batman. right like if you could you imagine like the wonder twins activating <laughs> yeah. in uh in like the batman like they're over here and they're like form yeah. of osiris yeah. and then <laughs> it's got to be found on the street to be in the movie <laughs> but yet, like the joker yet they're like heavily rumoring clayface as the villain right. and like oh, the, the animated one. series clayface right. was so, he was the, so he was heartbreaking. He was like, the, I think that for me was. We're like all Clayface. It was the first. It was the first like anti. It was the first villain I ever felt bad for because yeah. like his daughter's like, please stop putting yeah. that shit on your face, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love you. It's okay if you're deformed. I still love you. And he's like, no. Yeah. No. Your love I isn't must, enough. I must be, <laughs> your love means nothing to Clayface. Yeah. That's the realest thing they've ever done in a comic. A right. Parent who wasn't satisfied with the love of their own child. Uh, and I think Clayface, they, they have a real opportunity to cast a like actor in his 50s mm -hmm. who used to be like considered drop dead gorgeous in his 20s and now he's just a perfectly good looking man in his 50s. Should be Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Well, he's... I, Brendan Fraser lost me on the whale when he was like, they made my arms match the fat suit. I'm like, anyone who's fat already does that. Like we already had, he's like, they, had, they even did the arms. Like, he started to get so <laughs> impressed with the you prosthetics. Should, you should not have brought up Brendan no. Fraser. No. I'm saying this. I love. Brendan. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I love Brendan Fraser, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna like, if you're gonna cry in every interview about what a comeback story this was, you can't also be like. And then they did this crazy thing with the fat suit that I put yeah, on. Yeah, I should have just never. They made the arms also fat, and I think that's where we changed the game and won the Oscar. <laughs> So like, That's where it all changed. And when he cries, those eyes, they're so big. They're really, yeah. they're they're really, big, really and big, big and they produce a lot of yeah, tears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's he's a got a lot of moisture. Lot. I think they should have just taken some of that saline and pumped it in the arms. I think that would have been fine. Anyway, let's watch the trailer for Monarch Legacy of Monsters. <laughs> yeah. who, who gives a fuck? Speaking I don't of water. No volume on this one either. Yeah. Uh, you know they made Godzilla's arms fat just like his belly. Right. He's got tiny arms. <laughs> Brandon, don't ever correct me again. Monarch yeah. There. Okay. Good. San Francisco. No. So this this San Francisco attack that was the original Godzilla movie, I think. Or original. Yeah. And this movie takes place through like yeah, a sixty-year time Godzilla. period, I think. Or yeah. yeah, they're gonna jump around in time. Yeah. Over three generations. Hey, that was a, I auditioned for that scene. It is Anders Holm. He's playing young Joe Goodman. The one they just showed. I think so. Yeah. Let's get him canceled. No, it can't be because that doesn't. It's not too late. Let's get him canceled. Let's get you in there. I mean, how much did Apple spend on this? 
Well, they're worth three trillion. Kurt Russell just looks so good, though, right? <laughs> I wish he'd get some clay face clay yeah, on his face. Yeah. He'd be good, he was great in Death Proof. What if Robert Redford was clay face? <laughs> what a stunt cast. They should get Mickey Wharf to be clay face. <laughs> that is actually perfect. Although he's like seven. They have to give him less makeup. Yeah, yeah. We have to make your face look better. <laughs> we have to stretch your face out. <laughs> yeah, John Goodman, too skinny, ruined it for all of us. <laughs> Let the man lose a little weight. I'm kidding, I'm happy for him. I can't I'm not. Be, I it can't started, be mad. It started I, in Treme. Started I can't be Treme. mad on both sides of the spec. I can't be mad at Brendan Fraser for raving about his fat arms. This is all Ozempic's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Did that guy just freeze? Ooh, I like those glasses. I wish Ozempic would sponsor us. He does have the Ozempic face. Mm. Is that when you like raisin? <laughs> it's like, yeah, your, your face collapses in on itself Can from the use? sudden weight loss. Well, that's why gastric bypass makes you look fucking crazy. Yeah, that's when I stopped listening to Blues Traveler. <laughs> this, no. I already forgot what's in the trailer. I feel like the show's going to be the same way. So, so I can give, I'll give a little bit of background. Give story me your background. I, leak I, it. I, uh, I won't get to leak anything. I just, mm -hmm. I, I think, when I can give you some context, I think it's basically the story <laughs> of um, Kurt Russell's and John Goodman's characters as young men, they're World War II veterans mm -hmm. who... Uh, survive a horrific World War II attack that's blamed on the Japanese, but is ultimately a kaiju has taken their ship down. And that Pearl starts, Harbor? Yeah, no, it's not that. It's uh, something different, something more. Oh, uh, wow. No, and they, uh, I think basically they, uh, why do I have my earpiece still in? I, I don't know. They was just trying to pretend I was a sports broadcaster for a second. No, I think they basically, then they travel to the future, or they, you know, they don't travel to the future. They, they take us to the present, or whatever day that is. It's probably mm -hmm. the 80s, because I think John Goodman's supposed to be. Well, it, that's, I mean, that's a good question, Tom, because does this show take place after the events of Godzilla versus Kong? Or is oh, it yeah. before those, because the, the attack on San Francisco happens in like the 2014 uh, Gareth Edwards directed Godzilla right. movie that kind of restarted this is franchise. Is that the Charlie Day? No, well, no. that's in the same universe. Charlie Day. See, well, Charlie problem. Day was in Pacific, Pacific Rim. Rim. Yeah. Okay. Different universe, yeah. kaiju. This movies. is me. I know. It's, it's all kaiju, baby. It's all the well, same. Well, and as all of this is going on, there's yeah. also still a Godzilla, like, year one movie yeah. coming out. Okay. That is made by the original Godzilla company in Japan that is yeah. separate from all of this. But I, and I believe there's also still some planned. Godzilla Kong. There's a there's a sequel to Godzilla yeah. vs Kong. Which I, I mean, I know people have struggled with those movies, but if you just <laughs> like watching, you know, giant things punch right. each other, because uh... there was also Kong Skull Island, which was a prequel to the like Godzilla 2014 Gareth Edwards movie, where uh, John Goodman's in that movie. That's where it kind of establishes that Monarch is looking for these creatures. There's something going on, and they yeah. keep Kong on an, a fake skull island that's yeah. like in a dome. They like dome the island. Yes, he right. gets out in the Godzilla versus That's Kong what Israel movie. has over there. <laughs> He's got the Iron Dome mm -hmm. keeping Godzilla in. Jesus. Godzilla <laughs> figures out it's a, or Kong figures out it's a dome. He gets out, yeah. he goes to the center of the earth. He realized every other Kong had a written language, was building tools. He's the dumbest Kong. Yeah. Uh, in the center of the earth, there's a light source. They don't explain that. Nothing's going on. They need a Kevin Feige. They need, <laughs> they need someone to tie it all together. And yeah. the, and you I think this show's going to try and tie it all together. You you, uh, you cut me off a little bit. I was going to say, if you want to see two two giant creatures go at it, Big Mama Fight Night at the Seventh Vale is coming oh, up. Oh, okay. Producing a night of seven foot tall women uh, <laughs> going at it in the ring, eight rounds. Uh, That's Big Mama Fight Night? Big Mama Fight Fest oh, okay. at the Seventh Vale. Tickets on sale now at uh, TomBechtold.com <laughs> uh, or just Venmo me at tommy Bechtold. Gotcha. $15. And of course, I'll give you, as always, with every purchase, a list of five celebrities that suck in real life. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Um, you know what else is interesting? What else is interesting? Desk Tommy? technology is okay. changing the game. And we want to give a shout out to our favorite piece of break room furniture, the Flexi Desk from Flexi Spot. 
What's well, a flexi desk? Well, I mean? I'm about to tell you. Flexi desk standing desks have a motor wow. that lets you transition oh, from a 28 incher to a 47 incher. <laughs> oh, baby. Ah. Yeah, the desk goes from 28 inches to 47 inches with the press of a button. We got their calm hard design in our studio so we can go from sitting to standing and back to sitting quickly. And if you know me, I like to get back to sitting quickly. <laughs> the four programmable height presets let multiple folks save their preferred height to get back to it with a touch of a button. It's got integrated USB ports to let you have fewer dangling cords and an industrial grade steel frame that can support up to 110 pounds so any Buffalo Bills fan, man or woman, can go crashing through it. Because let me tell you, there ain't a citizen in Buffalo under 110 pounds under, buck under the age of seven, okay? okay. Too many pierogies, too many wings. There's also a convenient pull-out drawer for office supplies. FlexiDesk's quick install design lets you get up and running in less than five minutes. So all you need to do is have the perfect home office set up. So all you need to do to have the perfect home office set up is to click the link in the description below and get your flexi desk today. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. last night, what happened, Tommy? In my dreams. Oh yeah. I attended a riot. What? That's right. Me and some like-minded individuals uh -huh. gathered with some planks of wood and nails. Okay. And we built a merch booth where we sold nerdriot.shop gear. You can always grab the latest and greatest new rock stars gear like these bad boys from that little trickster, the god of stories, the god of mischief, Loki baby. Check out our new line of merch inspired by Loki season two, including this lovely neat info call miss minute shirt that I don't wear, I just look at it. I have it pinned to my ceiling. And then you also have Mobius jet ski. We have Mobius, uh, Pie Shop, and of course, Brandon's catchphrase, Later Gators, from the Break Room, baby, featuring Alligator Loki. Check out all of these shirts and more at nerdriot.shop. So he's just drinking. Yeah, he's in Myrtle Beach. Check out all <laughs> these options and more over at nerdriot.shop, and don't forget to subscribe to all three channels in the new Rockstars Network. There's, of course, the Break Room, new Rockstars, and Deep Dive. All right. Headlines? Yeah, let's get to some headlines. Here's a headline for you. Deadpool 3 is likely not going to make its May 3rd release date. Mm. As you know, it's scheduled to come out May 3rd, 2024. I was going to get divorced that day. <laughs> There's still time. In an interview, director <laughs> in an interview, director Sean Levy said that he's shot half of the movie oh. and edited half of the movie. Humble he won't Brad. tell you what halves. Uh, but with the ongoing SAG strike, it's, it, but the weird thing is, it's the, the opposite. opposite. He the shot opposite. the first half and is completely yeah. edited the second. Uh, but with like the ongoing SAG strike, it's likely that this movie will be delayed. On top of this, the Marvel scoopers are fighting, guys. Oh, no. oh a bunch of liars Why? are fighting. Why are they fighting? <laughs> so this was like a little interesting thing that happened on Reddit over the last couple of days. A Reddit user going by the name Spider Bite mm. admitted to lying about leaking the plot of Deadpool three. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but their leak involved uh, kind of a rumor that Earth 838, the Earth we saw in Multiverse of Madness, the TVA, and specifically the actor Matthew McFadyen as a TVA, TVA agent named Paradox. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what happened was this, this person, they came clean yesterday and they're like, look, during a few months ago, I s just posted this thing on Reddit and people took it. And then like that same day or like the next day, other, we'll say credible Marvel scoopers, uh, kind of ran with the story that McFadian's character being a TVA agent named Paradox. Very, very soon after this plot, thus giving like kind of the leaked plot credibility. And, we, have, was, and we, all, we now know, we have, have confirmed from Disney, he's playing a TSA agent named Perry Dox. Perry Dox. Yeah, he works, mm -hmm. at, the, uh, he works at the Delta Gate right. security at, at LAX. So basically this Reddit user was like- What I did was a... very clever and funny. I, and I, no, I liked it. it. We don't have no, to circle you, back to you it. You stone face. What do you want me to do? Sell what it. What do you do? Just I was laugh? Sell it. Over Follow here. Ed McMahon me. Ed McMahon, ha ha. <laughs> Great one, Tommy. Got it, Johnny. All right, all right, all right. So we had a Reddit user basically kind of come up with this story and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna say that the Deadpool 3. What was his 3, name? Spider Bite okay. with a Y. Uh, they were, they're like, I'm gonna come up with this, that these are the plot details for Deadpool 3. And it involved like Earth 838, mm. something we saw in Multiverse of Madness. And he, yeah. he kind of, he says that like, he was making up that like, oh, we're gonna have uh, Ouroboros is gonna be in it. Cause they were looking at TVA agents. Um. This was before news came out that like, uh, about Loki, and then at the last minute he changed it to like Paradox oh. was gonna be in it. Cause that was like the next entry on the fandom website. Mm. Then like the next day, other scoopers were saying that like, oh, uh, Matthew McFadyen has been cast to play the TVA agent Paradox. 
in the Deadpool 3 movie. These two things happen at the same time, mm -hmm. but because this thing about Matthew McFadden came out, it made the story from this spider bite guy mm -hmm. seem more credible. So people were taking the spider bites, everything he said at face value, they were saying like, oh, this is also gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Now what has come out is that like, they've said, I kind of made that up. It was this weird moment in time where that subreddit was kind of dark because of weird protests on Reddit. Oh yeah, was that when we were all right. supposed to not read Reddits anymore? Yeah, but right. we all did. We all still did. Yeah. Uh, and Jeez, they, just, they didn't dark change over. anything and everyone broke. Would um, you say Reddit was more like dread it? We dreaded it. <laughs> Tommy, you killed me. <laughs> Tommy. I told you I was gonna say that joke as many times <laughs> as in the next week as I could. Tommy, I don't know how your brain does it. It's too complex. Well, the truth is every day I wake up wondering if this should be it. You gotta stop taking those nootropics. They're making it too smart, Tom. And that one, uh, that's our third sponsor. Oh yeah? Uh, Kitten's Whisper. It's <laughs> a brand new psychotropic drug that you take, nootropic drug, yeah. oh, freeze your mind. There you go. Yeah, yeah. we no, don't, don't show our real sponsor. <laughs> uh, we'll save that. Kitten's Whisper is available on my Etsy shop. Cassim, you whisper to your kitten, right? Oh, I pissed on my kitten. That's oh no, cat pervert. We got him. Ladies we got and gentlemen, him, the cat pervert. We got, we got, got him on wax. In the chat. I pissed on my cat, it wasn't my fault. No. It's never your fault. Yeah. You're never to blame. So you basically have you have this guy saying like I made up the story and yeah. now I'm coming clean about it. And everyone else is like, eee, eee, we ran with that. that. Can and we just get a scooper with a regular name like Doug? Yeah. Well, or... we have Jeff Schneider, but he's kind of out of the game right now, right? Well, no, he's still very much in the game. He he is uh, claiming one of his former employers did him mm. dirty, didn't pay him, and has like walked away from that. Okay. There's yeah. there's lots of like scoopers and leakers out there. They'll say things. Some of it's true. Some of it's not true. Some of it might be true, oh, and then yeah. things get cut because they saw a script at a different time. Mm -hmm. Or some of these people work at like trailer houses where they mm -hmm. see footage and they like make things on that. So and we all live in uh, Canada, but have lived in LA mm -hmm. previously. We pretend the show takes place in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> we, uh, you know, the just the word of mouth, people wanting to tell you they know something on the industry inside, right. can, uh, just that can snowball at a party where someone's like, I actually know Sean Levy's. Uh, assistant mm -hmm. and they told me Deadpool 3 is actually going to be split into six movies right and mm -hmm. then that gets run with and there's like just enough of threads that make it could be mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. that's essentially the whole uh UFO community yes is that we are all running on one thing that might be true and then surrounding it by fake stuff now you, 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 you use we there yeah you I want to there. hone in on that are you part are you part yeah. of the movement Absolutely. Now, I'm now, advocating for disclosure every day. You're an ufologist? Yeah. Now, are, they're called uh, aerial phenomenons now. How do you feel yeah, about that? Yeah, UAP. No, I didn't like the name. You think that's like a weird thing to try and like... They're trying to confuse yeah, us. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. UFOs, baby. Do okay. you feel co-opted by flat earthers in terms of uh, batshit movements? No, I'm also a flat earther. Right, I think that those go hand okay. in hand. Yeah, together okay. we now, are. Now, where in Denver do you believe the portal to hell is? The airport Air or the it's Denny's? <laughs> well, it connects to the Denny's. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. it's all of the big... The Denny's is the it's hell. the bathroom of the Denny's. <laughs> yeah, it goes is, a, is a hell mouth of its and own. And they're yeah. cloning yeah. not only the Grand Slams, but the human beings. <laughs> Guys, I think this should be a permanent Tuesday show. I, don't think, I, think, I think if we keep this line up. We do a little bit of headlines and then mostly conspiracy. Uh, I and I want to stress like, a very little bit of the headline. We talk about our favorite dragon movies. I bring up Clive Klusler. We have a great time. I'm trying like, to like... What? As this show like is happening, I'm trying to think like what the thumbnail for the YouTube video is gonna look like. I think it should just be a question mark. I, and I really think it's yeah. Here's I think the you're alien right. Mummies from Mexico. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Here's the oh. alien. I call them mummies because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> boy, yoing, you found them. You found them attractive. Uh, did you see this perfect circular hole in their mouth? Jesus, Tom. <laughs> They're dead. They were very sexy mummies. <laughs> They're dead, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy held that for too long to get on camp. I live like I die. <laughs> Let's put him in the casket. Let's that pretend was a good reaction saw him, brought him out. Yes. Do we all need to make our, our alien reaction faces? <laughs> I'm gonna You've heard that. of the Three Stooges. They're gonna clip that out. How They're about the Three Splooges? Let's go, guys, Here let's we talk go. about this. Well, <laughs> along with this Deadpool 3 alien news, mm -hmm. uh, director Sean Levy would not confirm the rumors that Taylor Swift will be appearing as Dazzler. Well, that's good, because she's been very anti-press lately. So I think it's good if we <laughs> just right. kind of, we don't want to have any rumors now, about her. We were talking about this before we went live. The, the Taylor Swift as Dazzler 
rumor has been around for a long time. Yeah. Tommy mm-hmm. brought up that at Comic Con 2016. Yes. They put out like they a. They had a Dazzler record that you could order. It was, if I recall, I could be way off on this, but okay. I think it was $100. That sounds you know, right. You know, Comic Con exclusives are, are always expensive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, you really know you're getting into a Comic Con exclusive when something like a, a vinyl record, which, you know, a new vinyl record at, at a physical media store is like nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Actually. Sure. And they even a reprint you of should a have classic. Said, you should have said nineteen eighty nine to throw a little bomb. Oh, uh, that would have been fun for the Swifties if I gave a flying. All right, be nice to the hey, Swifties. Make friendship bracelets big enough for your necks and twist them, okay? Okay. Strangle Jeez yourself. Louise. I love her. Come on, screaming, crying. He's Jeez right. Louise. Somebody had to say it. Jeez Listen, Louise. players are gonna play, 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 and haters are gonna hate, 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 hate. Well, I'm listen. just gonna sh- take, 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 take. <laughs> Give a take. Give a take. <laughs> yeah, take and, it off. And I also think that Taylor was rumored to play Dazzler <laughs> right. in more than just this movie. Previous X Men. I, I don't know if it's Days of Future Past or Apocalypse or right. one of those. Well, because I know that Days of Future Past took place in the seventies. Dazzler's is an, a late eighties, early nineties creation, right? Mm-hmm. Am I? You're reading. Eighty. I think it was eighty one. Eighty one. Okay, so still in I the take guess. She's a musician. Very similar to like Gem and the Holograms, yeah. right? Yeah, she was a disco queen. Yeah. Oh. At first. Yeah. I don't think Taylor's troubled enough for that. Mm. We need someone with a little bit of baggage. She has a hard time. I'll Brit- do the How quotes. About Evan, I'll do the quotes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> so Sean Levy's got to love that, like, Taylor Swift's getting attached to his movie, whether or not she's in it, right? right. But he did go on the record. He said, quote, I'm, I'm going across the board. No comment, because that's a double whammy. That's Taylor-related, and it's MCU-related. I'm no dummy. <laughs> You're going to have to wait and see. So he won't confirm or deny the rumors like yes. that Taylor Swift is going to be yeah. Dazzler in also, Deadpool 3. Also, I like he's calling it MCU related. Mm-hmm. So that means it's not one of those Well, uh, he's a Fox boy. In his mind this was still a Fox movie when it started. I get it. And but big, also big the, Papa Iger came in and bought him out. They're not going to throw it into the Sony Spider the Spum C. No, no. She's it's not, not going to be the Dazzler ain't going to be Spum C no, in it. No. Mm-hmm. Got it. So, just for just for context too, you know, Taylor Swift era tour film yep. made almost 97 million dollars at the box office last weekend just beating out Joker that made 96 million in its wow. opening weekend for the biggest opening in October ever and the movie studios get zero dollars could you that, imagine she did it herself they need to have huge fans of the Joker uh-huh. and Swifties come together for a summit mm-hmm. to talk about what they loved about each of those movies like I want a Joker fan to watch the mm-hmm. Taylor Swift era's Tour movie, right. compliment it. You know how they try to do that in political debates now? They're like, say something nice about your opponent. It's like, come on, these people never liked each other just because now it's a lot of mudslinging. You start with the compliment, and then the next thing you say is true no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. You're like, I think he's a good grandfather for someone who owns a lot of Nazi memories. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He doesn't let his kids play with any of the old Lugers. Yeah. Right. My biggest weakness is that I work too hard. Absolutely. Classic <laughs> interview technique, folks. Now, Kasim, you might have some thoughts around Taylor yeah, Swift yeah, appearing I in the MCU. Thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> I have some thoughts. I went out and we shot a, um, we got people's sort of thoughts around Taylor joining the oh, okay, MCU. Okay, there you go. You set up shop on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, as you can see there, we're pretty anti-Taylor. <laughs> it was, uh, wow. Yeah, I used some concept art there of Taylor Swift as uh, potentially the new Professor X. Oh, okay. oh. I like that. Actis and she knows a lot about X's, guys. That's right. Well, we <laughs> and all... now that she's dating Travis Kelsey, she knows a lot about X's and O's. Whoa! <laughs> guys, I'm trying out for to be an NBC football commentator next year. <laughs> for you? I gotta get out of here. I can't do this shit you anymore. Know, that was perfect. Thanks. That was good. Thanks. That was good. Put uh, me in an oversized suit, which is hard to do for me. Get me a tarp, make it into a suit. All right. We talked. We so we went out there and tried to get people's thoughts on and telling them we were like jumping to the conclusion that she was cast. Mm-hmm. Right. You and were well, you were kind of planting the seed. I was planting the seed. I go by my I went by my rumor scooper uh, name, which was uh, Can I get double fries instead? Because <laughs> oh. they all I like that. They all have like a phrase now. It's, it's like all, it's, not it's like a, when Panic at the Disco hit and every band was suddenly a sentence. Yeah. Right? It's a full uh, thing. Yeah. And um, so I pretended to be a scooper and told people that she was cast and a lot of people had thoughts. There was a mm. lot of pro-Swifties because we were at 
Sure, Part sure. It's her weekend. Sure. Sure. So, yeah, you, you put the bait down in a pretty shark infested. Yeah. I was in the lion's den. Yeah. yeah, and so hopefully we'll get to see that in the next, I don't know, two to six weeks, depending on um, oh, okay. you know, on how the, long On the new rock I, You know, I looked at our, our upcoming schedule, and all I just saw was uh, what, somebody just drawn a middle finger on it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, We're so right at the tip. Yeah. Right there. We're at <laughs> right the tip of the, the spear the right now, guys. There well, was one guy that was, there was a lot of people that had thoughts that were like, keep her out. Oh, wow. You know, she's she's already got too much. She's already owning and, and running the pop star thing. Right. Why does she have to take was he Was he by any actors? chance a fan of the National Football League? Or was he, he was, I was going to yeah. say, I think he a was. lot of NFL bros are really struggling with. I think he was a, a hardcore Rams fan. He kept saying oh. go Rams. Or yeah, that's tough. We'll see. But, um, no, yeah. he's saying Gorham. He was saying Gorham. Gorham. Gorham is a demon that haunts that theater. He was mm. trying to summon him. Mm. It, it could have been. Yeah, he did. His eyes were red. Mm. And, that uh, could be for a lot of reasons. Yeah, in that yeah. Neck of the woods. Well, thank you for doing God's work. I had to go, and I might have got COVID from it. And oh so, my uh, God! Well, it's good to know that. Yeah, we've been raw dog in conversation yeah. for real glad you're about here. an hour now. Real so glad happy to be sharing a tight space. Yeah, with yeah. The good news is I recently had COVID as well, so I'm pretty what? sure I'm shooting blanks. What I don't think you can happening? hurt me. I think I got, I got, I got uh, hollow tips. I got the thing that defends against hollow tips, the bulletproof vest that you just can't get shot in. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't think those exist. You, uh, wait, wait. I want, I want to follow your line of reasoning here. Yeah. The COVID gave you that. COVID made me invincible. Made your chest yeah. so hard. Well, I have such a heart <laughs> issue now. I have such a crazy oh, okay. heart condition Long from COVID. the COVID. You got stone heart. Yeah. I have what's known as erect COVID. <laughs> It's always it's long. Co it's hard COVID. It's not necessarily long, long COVID. COVID. Oh, it's okay. definitely hard. Okay. It's average size COVID. Statistically, okay. it's a COVID that is like no one's gonna look at that COVID and go, "Oh, that's the tiniest COVID I've ever seen." But also, no one's gonna go like, "I don't think I can do that COVID." Okay. Yeah, they're gonna say that COVID is perfectly manageable. Uh, and I feel like I can talk to anybody now. I'm I like not going to get COVID. That COVID with that personality yeah. is good. <laughs> that is. It's a match. Yeah. Uh, it plays well on camera. plays well in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. We got any question about Tess? Can you Tess, ask, can, well, well, Tess who famously came? was Tess's first manager and who was his first tag partner? God, I don't think Tess would love to be confused with Edge anytime yeah. he can. Anytime he can. Tess's first manager was Trish Stratus. Really? And she paired him up with Elvis. They gave Tess, they were, I mean, Tess had they were, the rocket, dude. They were T and A. Which yeah. one did Stone Cold abuse? Uh, that was Debra. Debra. Uh, but Debra. also Test. Test is taking that big test up in the oh, sky. Tess Unfortunately, he has passed away. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Test is Sorry, no longer Tess. with us. Did that test? just happened during our broadcast? Might have just happened. Hang on. Check your phone. <laughs> uh, folks, a bit of tragic news to share with you. No. Wrestler Test has been dead for 20 years. Uh, and Pencils we are just, down. Uh, Pencils down, boys. Strike means strike. Do not cross any picket lines. The test is complete. It's now time for his son. He's being survived by quiz. <laughs> and his you. wife exam. Evan, did we have any questions? I mean, we we can't go into the rest of the script because we don't have time for it. We can't. We don't. We don't have time. It's three fifty-three. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I took an energy. Uh, <laughs> I drank a coffee and I feel like you know. I was ready to go. I did my best. Over. Evan, I, did I know. I know best. you did your best. I'm with. I'm with my special boy. I'm with a new friend. I'm with you guys. I don't know. Something just came out of me today. Let's just go. <laughs> no, let's let cook. Let's let cook. Let Could I mean? Let's say Taylor Swift. I like Swift's, clickbait. Yeah. Taylor Swift in Deadpool three, but as Taylor Swift, right? Okay. Because if you're Taylor Swift, yeah. you don't want to be a character in the MCU, right? Mm -mm. She hasn't done much. I mean, let's look at her acting. Uh, she got run over by a car she was in, in New Amsterdam. She was in Cats. She was as in, one of the cats. Yeah, they I added out her cat. butthole. I know that. And then also. And then yeah, she's, she's not, in I mean, New Amsterdam. Yeah, well, and then she was also in uh, I think. Or Amsterdam. It's not New in, Amsterdam. It's just Amsterdam. It's just Amsterdam. Right? She was in one of those. Uh, New Amsterdam is the doctor show. Uh, that was the doctor. Yeah, she was in Valentine's Day. Right? Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, where she played Taylor Lautner's girlfriend, right? Oh, yeah. And then she played right. his girlfriend in real life. Yeah, she did. Was, yeah. She has definitely gone a paid through. actor for that one. Yeah. Uh, but so if she's gonna be in Deadpool three, I think appearing as herself would yeah. be good. One of my biggest pulls I thought the MCU could do. Uh, for a while, it was like Angelina Jolie. They get her for mm. Eternals, yeah. a really weird role. She's a small part in like a, mm. a, a huge ensemble cast. 
She's also like famously not doing a ton of movies. I don't know how they talked her into doing that movie. Probably she does working it. with all those people. She probably loves Selma Hayek. They're probably old Yeah, friends. she probably got talked into it yeah. in that way. Maybe she really liked Chloe Zhao with yeah. the vision she presented. And then she's like, this I, is like know, Nomadland, right? This yeah, is basically yeah. the same thing. We're gonna win an award. I, I, I don't know if we'll see any more of Fina in you don't think so? the MCU ever again. I don't know. She has the mad weary, right? Yeah. Well, I think they fixed it. Oh. But then she had the mad weary. <laughs> but then you have like <laughs> Another big one I thought was like Charlize Theron. Mm. They got her right at the end. She's playing Cleo. 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 Uh, they pull her in right at the end of Multiverse Oh of my God, I totally forgot great. that she was at yeah, the Yeah, yeah. And I, I was like, well, why couldn't we have the whole fucking movie with her? That would have been nice. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see her again in eight years. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, getting like someone like Taylor Swift would be huge. But you might be right that she's almost too big for the MCU. She could be. She'd have to be Galactus or... <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, her being a villain would be great. It I would. Think. And yes. it, commitment is low because, you know, the, the heroes have 10-year or whatever Right, right, contract. right. If you're Unless a villain, you're a villain, they turn nice and then you're around. Also, much. at most points in the villains, it's like the only time she has to be herself is like in an origin thing and then something happens yeah. to her that completely makes CG. her unrecognizable yeah, all and she's just CGI voiceovering the rest of it. So. Yeah, it's like Josh Brolin wearing the hands and the stick mm -hmm. yeah, to show where exactly. his head would be. Right. Yeah, that's Look right. up there, not at my face. Yeah. I wonder if she would enjoy like shooting. If she's the star of a Marvel movie, that's a lot of work. Her it's people a lot would of... need to make her, they would say Taylor can't do anything where she's not the star. Yeah. yeah. Or she plays well, a star, she... like a planet. Yeah. Something. In Amsterdam, oh, she's like a she's like an ingenue, right? Yeah, she's the, but it's an in and out. But it's really cameo, quick. really quick. But it's, they it's, should, it's should have made her Elioth and Loki. Yeah, <laughs> I was just <laughs> saying, what if she is the charmed Elioth? Yeah, she's the she's the um, dazzled, if you will. Oh. when they when they charm Elioth and, uh, be, and opens the doors to the mm -hmm. Citadel, yeah. it feels like there's just a huge blank space in the MCU. For her. <laughs> and let's hope, let's hope she's cast. So this won't be a cruel summer. No, Evermore. I won't give you that one. I won't give you that one. Evermore, I'll give you that one. I'll give you Evermore. Evermore. I'll give you that one. Rest in peace, Sean Connery, Test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we want to thank Sean Connery, Test. <laughs> Owen Clive, Hart. Owen, Owen Hart. Hart. Clive Klessler, let's thank him. Let's not forget about him, folks. Uh, Jack Ryan. And those two mummy aliens. Yeah, we want to thank the mummy aliens again. We want to thank uh, all of the UFO community. Uh, Pete Davidson, mm -hmm. uh, special guest Ice Spice. And anyone else struggling. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone else out there that, uh, yeah. that, that needs a little help. Uh, we're not going to do the book? No, we, we were going to skip. We can't do the book. We There's don't a great to... book out there <laughs> called Marvel. We'll, we'll do the book next week, maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll talk about, we were going to get into the book uh, that Joanna Robinson uh, from The Ringer wrote about the MCU and kind of a behind the scenes, how it all came together, some of the things she found for that book. We'll get into that next week. Uh, but that's it for us today. Be sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch. And just we remember, do these videos live. we work so hard to keep this show tight. So watch the whole thing from start to finish because we stay on this script like we're taking a test. This will be edited to like a, a tight machine. 15 minutes. And uh, you know, if you believe in heaven or hell, you gotta assume most of the people we talked about are either there or going there. Right. So look up, look down, look all around. Look at my thumb. Gee, you're dumb. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>